fellow glue sniffers and spruce snippers. Welcome back to Blitz Greg Model Works. I'm Bob. You know me as Darkland on the forums. How's it going, everybody? So the build for the Amusing Hobby Panther 2 prototype is complete. Um, I'm still kind of searching around for a color scheme and some figures and a diorama scene to put it into. Uh, but the build is done. Everything you're seeing is out of the box except for the tracks, and I'm going to mention it later, but... If you want to see how nightmarish the kit tracks are to put together, very nice when they're done, but they are a royal pain to put together. I talk about it in my Yag Panther 2 uh, build video from a few months back. So I'm just going to move the camera over and show you guys what the kit looks like completed. So this is the finished kit. Everything you he see here, other than the tracks, are, is uh, what comes in the kit, including all the photo etch. The tracks are from Furl Model. They are actually much easier and uh, to build and to clean up than the kit tracks. The kit tracks are kind of nightmarish. Uh, go and look at my Amusing Hobby Yeg Panther 2 build. Uh, I did use their tracks on that. Now, this up a little bit here. Now these photo etched fenders, a uh, lot nicer looking than the plastic ones. You still get the plastic ones in the kit. But what I found was when you hang the skirts, which I'm not going to use on this kit, but when you hang the skirts on there, they actually kind of splay out on the sides a little bit. Some of them are a lot splayed. And it's not the hangers. It's, it's I don't know what it is, but they, they just hang really weird. And they don't do that with the, uh, the Egg Panther kit, which have a different set of, of side skirts. Suspension is the same as the Egg Panther 2, went together fairly well. It is wor workable. You can kind of push it down a little bit. It's hard to do on the stand, everything wants to move on this thing. Um, I, you see the black paint here, I actually painted the whole interior black. There is no blocks um, for the radiator screens, so you could potentially see through it. Although they do give you fans under here but you can't really see them it's kind of you can't see much of anything the photo etch is okay it's not Aber or um, Voyager quality but it's pretty good for for kit stuff the only thing I still have left to put in are the periscopes they will go in after painting I did add I did add these on I used, uh, the, you get four of these track hangers, um, so I just cut up a couple, the other two, and, and put them on the, th the sides there. Some nice photo etch bits for the, uh, for the hatches. The hatches are actually really cool here, if I can get this off, because they're actually, have some nice detail to them. as does the uh, commander's hatch. But that's it. Um, I'm still farting around trying to figure out what kind of paint scheme that I want to do. Um, oh, two-piece barrel. It's actually more like a three-piece barrel because you get, well, four now to come to think of it. You get a left and a right side and then the back part of the muzzle brake and then the front part is a separate piece. You can see where I've done the filling there. Goes together fairly well. It is kind of, it is poseable. Uh, unfortunately I got some glue on it so it's kind of fixed at a slight elevation. It even has the, uh, the infamous toe hitch that was only seen on the Panther 2s. So I'm still farting around, like I said, trying to figure out what kind of color scheme I'm going to do. I've seen a lot of guys doing these, doing them in like the more futuristic Panzer 46 type color schemes, and I'm looking more along the lines of if this had actually come to fruition, uh, being that this is the prototype version, this would have replaced the Panther A in 1943, so I'm kind of looking at uh, maybe reimagining some of the uh, more famous Panther A's as a Panther 2 for an alternate timeline thing. And, uh, oh, for those that might have noticed, I got a couple of staples. 
in here. These are for all, so they actually have to be pinned individually, and that is the the one link that I have that isn't finally pinned. Um, and I'll just pull that out so I can take the tracks off to do all the painting and then put it back on later. So I'll do a final reveal video here as soon as I figure out what I'm doing for a paint job and markings. And uh, for figures and whatnot, I'm kind of at a loss to put for a scene to put it in. Uh, I don't like just to have stuff sitting on a shelf. I like to have some type of a little scene. But uh, nothing's really come to mind about what I'd like to do with this yet. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, talk to you later. Bye-bye.